Hey there, classic car fans, I guess. We have a 1955 Plymouth Belvedere, and it's actually a little bit of a resto mod. And I'm gonna show you real quick, here's the owner contact info for sale, if you're interested. So it looks like you got a little bit of a modernized uh, transmission, you know, shifter at least. Okay, so uh, even cooler, the owner is gonna let me start it up. Again, this is a 1955 Plymouth Belvedere. You'll see, I'm gonna show the uh, under the hood and all, but it's not stock, not, uh, not or far from it. Okay, so here's the fuel pump prime. Electronics came on, let's give her a shot. Not quite there. Okay, so it appears it won't start, but it does have a fuel injected motor, not an old carburetor setup from the factory way back in 1955. Let me cycle the key a few times. Of course, any old classic car is just gonna be, you know, have its odds and ends a little finicky, but that uh, comes with the territory, right? All right, let the fuel pump prime a few times. Let's give her a shot. Hmm. Give her one more shot. Eh. Well, no luck on that, but that's okay. But let me uh, take her out a little bit. So it does have some reupholstered seats. Obviously not from 1955, but more modernized. A little modernized shifter. And going off the tag, we have a Hemi motor, 364. We have a four-speed automatic. So I'm guessing that's a four-speed automatic from a you know, newer Chrysler product from the early 2000s, what have you, before they switched over to a lot of eight-speed automatics in their cars. And look, check this out. We have a they say it's at 364. I don't know uh, exactly what liters that comes out to. I think that's, a, well, 6.4 and uh, Mopar speed because of 392. So you figure a 364 is maybe like a 6.1. Uh, oh, maybe. Guys, let me know in the comments. Is this a 6, is this a 6.1 Hemi SRT motor out of the Challenger and other uh, early Chrysler 300 SRT8 models. Let me know because a 364 that's probably around a 6.1 or maybe it, maybe 364 is even smaller than the fives in the liter displacement. But yeah, it's a fuel injected V8. And but if you do close the hood, everything else does look stock. Nice big old steel heavy hood from the 50s. Very unassuming. But of course, you pop that hood, you'll see that pretty sweet 364. I wonder how much horsepower it makes. Wonder, I mean, I'm sure it's uh, they don't have a dyno sheet or anything, but probably makes some decent power to get this uh, heavy car. I, I would say this is probably what, what do you guys think? Maybe close to 5,000 pounds? Get this 5,000 pound car up and going faster than the stock motor from 1955 was probably pushing out. But yeah, very cool. You got the spare tire on the back and a nice cover for it. You got the Plymouth V8 logo they were rocking. And I guess the original transmission was a power flight. So look, again, very uh, unknowledgeable on the classic car mechanics, but was that power flight, was that a two speed or was that a three speed? Because obviously it's got the updated four speed in it. Uh, not sure if these are factory, but pretty cool dual exhaust. Let me see if I can get underneath the car. Okay, well, looks like a updated fuel tank. Obviously, they won't be a little rusted out. I wonder if the differential is stock, maybe just refreshed. Very nice, very cool car. So again, it is for sale. It does have some wear and tear, slight wear and tear here and there. You got your stock mirrors here, but then you have uh, these guys. Again, not very knowledgeable about the old, old cars. Um, also, these rims look updated. 
I'm sure cars in the 50s didn't have such a 17 inch rim rolling around. Probably more like a 15, maybe a 14. Belvedere logo. And yeah, man, pretty sweet looking car. I'm sure it would sound amazing if I could get to start, but unfortunately, doesn't seem like it's going to be the case. And man, just the American cars back in the 50s, man, they had some pretty cool styling. You know, you, it's just a bygone era. You're never going to see anything like it these days. And just all, all the chrome and the just the steel body. Sweet deal. Also got. Let's see if I can focus in. That's a. Is that a, is that an old Plymouth logo? Let me know in the comments again. Who? Well, you uh, classic car experts, let me know what's going on here. See the rim and the tires tucked away a little bit under the fender. Another classic touch of the, I'm guessing the, maybe just the Belvedere, maybe other cars had it. Let's see. Hard to see up underneath the car, but again, they ran the nice dual exhaust and the mufflers. And then the dual tips out the back. I, yeah, it's a true dual exhaust. It's not, doesn't split off into a Y. No leaks that I can really see. She said the car, owner said the car's been sitting for a little while, which is uh, makes sense. That's why it won't start. But yeah, it's probably a you know, relatively maybe just you know low, I'm spitballing here a low battery or some some small issue to get her up and running because again fuel injected very reliable once you uh, get her going so yeah if again if you want to be interested in making the owner an offer she's taking offers right there give her a call and sort something out let me go back in the interior one last time and again I'm also thinking this is not stock you got the uh, power functions Yes. Oh, yep. Oops, let me not crush that paper. <laughs> okay, so the power window, power window does work. Again, probably aftermarket gauges. Very nice. The classic white and black with the orange needle. And your fuel. The fuel gauge is working. There would be enough fuel in the tank to start her up. And again, if the volt, volt gauge is working, there's uh, enough volts coming from the battery, 12 volts. All in all, very nice. Maybe that used to be a glove box. Did some wiring for the fuel injected motor. Man. Oh yeah, of course the steering wheel is not stock either. Definitely a smaller diameter than what it came with but yeah some of these buttons they left stock that's really cool nice some stuff you, you gotta leave classic other stuff you know you can update it for the modern age yeah back seats are actually usable you can actually sit there have you know some leg room and um actually have some headroom there no headrests but again you know 50s car what are you gonna, what do you get? What can you expect? But yeah, this does look straight out of a, you know, early 2000s Chrysler product. So I believe that's what it was. The transmission, the shifter, and the assembly came straight out of there. This does look like some faux carbon fiber we got. Got your e brake. But you get the classic vents, or some factory vents. So yeah, I I honestly have no idea what her uh, price is, but yeah, if you're interested, oh, black roof again, if you're interested, give a call, take this Hemi with a 364 cubic inch for a spin, if you can get her running, have a nice classic with uh, modern bones underneath.
Wow, so I actually got it started. Just been sitting for a while, just need to give her another shot. Yeah, gauges look good, oil pressure looks good. Wow. Classic with modern touches that still cranks up in 2020. So 1955, what is that, 65 years old? Man. What a time to be alive and be, in a, be a car enthusiast, but specifically an American car enthusiast. Very nice. 